the age old debate on what flash is best in trail cameras is kind of a mute point. You know, what is best is depends on the application, depends on perspective. And from a deer hunting perspective, what we consider the best is black flash. From a scientific or researcher standpoint, white flash is best. And a lot of folks on either side commonly agree that red flash is typically the worst. So let's compare the different types of flash units used in trail cameras. You have three basic categories of flash types in trail cameras, white, red, black. White flash trail cameras give you an actual flash. Hobbyist folks really seem to gravitate towards these types of cameras because they give you nighttime images and videos in color. When you look at the wavelengths of light emitted from these cameras, it's on the lower end of the UV spectrum, coming in at approximately 300 nanometers. Red flash cameras, also known as IR cameras, include any bulb that's gonna put out or emit light somewhere between 600 to 750 nanometers. On the lower end of that wavelength, the light's more visible. As you creep into that upper side at 750 plus, that light becomes less visible. Black flash, also known as invisible flash, blackout, no glow, whatever the heck you wanna call these things, they're all describing flash units that are operating with an LED at 940 nanometers. And the important thing here is that no mammals can see light at that wavelength. Only reptiles and amphibians can actually see that far into the infrared spectrum. So over the years, we've talked to a ton of industry professionals, how they use cameras, what they gravitate towards, and I just wanna read some quotes from these professionals. Jeff Sturgis, for example, working with over 600 clients in 22 states since 2005, some of the very common themes pop up when it comes to which variety of trail camera flash spook the most game. By far, in my own experiences since 1999, and those of my clients, IR slash red glow trail cameras can be highly invasive for spooking game. I've even captured deer looking 14 feet in the air to stare at a red glow coming from my trail camera on an extremely hidden elevated IR trail camera. I often miss the days of white flash when outstanding nighttime color photos could be captured at a far less th level of invasiveness when compared to IR trail cameras. However, I am very thankful for now blackout varieties, which carry an extremely low level in invasiveness. All that being said, it still pays to hide each trail camera for daytime use, including cutting the side profile down with an adjacent tree and camera locations being approximately six to 10 feet high. My choice by far for the blackout cameras, I've actually taken it to the extreme using blackout cameras at a rate of 100% on both private and public hunts. The guys from Tag and Brag TV came in with this quote. Personally, we're not a huge fan of white flash. It's a mental thing for us. We can't imagine white flash cameras going off in the woods and deer not thinking something about it. We can think of one buck particular on our property in New York that spooked from an infrared video multiple times on different camera locations. With that being said, the cameras that provide a black flash are our personal favorites. Sometimes it can diminish the quality of nighttime images, but I've never seen a deer react any differently whether it's on photo mode or video mode. Going back to perspective and use case, every scenario is gonna be just a little bit different. And ultimately, you as an educated consumer know best.